Praise God. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the name of the Lord. Good morning. Welcome. 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 Good morning. <coughs> good morning. Good morning. Praise God. Praise God. Good morning. Welcome to the broadcast. Welcome. 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 Welcome to my replay viewers. Welcome as you come in, um, you share the scope, share the broadcast and invite your friends. Good morning. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to thank God for another privilege. Praise God that he has waken me up. <clears throat> To see another Monday morning, another new Monday morning. And as I say, we have never seen, we have never seen this, this day before. Amen. We know not what today holds. Praise God. And I just want to thank God that he has clothed us in our right mind. You are in your right mind when you are able to wake up. And to give gratitude to the true and living God, the creator of the universe. You are in your right mind. Amen. When you can, when you can, um, in the midst of trials, in the midst of all our situations, we can give God thanks. Praise God. Praise God. <clears throat> Praise God. My name is Kara Campbell and I'm a Christian counselor. I target teens and young adults who struggle with suicidal thoughts and tendencies. My aim is to help them to discover who they are in Christ. I want to get them to know who Jesus is. I want to let them know that there is hope. I want to let you know, my teenagers and young adults, that you don't really want to die. Amen? Suicide is not an option. Amen? It is a trick from the enemy. It is a trick. You are, you, are, you are not a mistake. You were created by God for his purpose. Amen? You were created in his image, in his likeness for his purpose. Praise God. And I want to help you to understand that. I am also the author of this book. The Five Reasons. Not to commit suicide. Five reasons. Good morning, Dorothy. Good morning. Thank you for inviting your friends. Five reasons not to commit suicide. You can find this book on Amazon.com or on my website, carracampbell.org. This book, my friends, this book is not just another book. This book is a book of hope and salvation. The two most important things that you can ever achieve in life. The two most important things that you can ever seek and achieve in life is hope and salvation. Nothing beats that. With all your career and with all your, 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 um, your, your talents and with everything that you go to school for. All your PhD and your SSD and your, your CCC. <laughs> all that you want to be have added to your name nothing is greater than hope and salvation amen and this book will help you this book will help you this is not just another little book that you just read and put it down this book is a book of life and death this book is a book that will help you lead you unto eternity amen and that's not what many people want to talk about today. They want to just talk about stuff that will just leave right here. You know, the Bible talk about, you know, <clears throat> your 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 um all the things that you all the things that you crave that that mutt and rust can eat. That's all the, the, your, your, the, your wealth and your stuff and all the things that you leave right here. This book take you from here and beyond. Hope for now and for the future. Amen. 
Praise God. God is a good God. And we just come back here every more every day praying for the children. Praying for the children. Praise God. Praise God. I come on here at 7 o'clock in the mornings to pray for the children. Praise God. Praise God. And I just thank you for coming on here with me. I thank you for sharing the scope to let others know that there is a, a broadcast like this. There is a scope like this. There is help out there that someone is out there that is willing to share with their testimony with you that I too was struggling with suicidal thoughts and tendencies in my teenage years and even up in my adult years. The devil is no respecter of persons. Amen. He will trick you into taking your life. He will lie to you. He accuses you. He let you feel like there is no hope. Amen. He let you feel hopeless. He let you feel shame. He brings shame on you. He brings discouragement. He brings all kind of curses on you. And this morning, I want you to share the scope and let others know. Let people know. Amen. That somebody's on here speaking life, speaking hope, hope into their life to let you, to let you know that it doesn't matter what you are going through. Nothing is worth taking your life for. Amen. So many young people are taking their lives these days because of bullism, because of they're trapped in some, you know, identity, confusion, whatever it is, problems, sickness. Some people are sick and in, in so much pain that the only thing that they, they think to do is to take their lives. The only thing that they see best is to, is to get out of this, you know, to escape this pain. Is to take their lives. But I just want to encourage you this morning to hang in there. Hang in there. Amen. Hang in there. I know what it is. I know what it is when the devil bring on those things on you. You can, you can deal with it. You can deal with it through the love of God. Through the help of God. You can survive it. You can go through it. Amen. You can in, 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 in everything that you're going through, if you if we learn to praise through it, if we learn to praise through our problems and our pain and our issues, amen. Praise God. For the for the, the past two, three weeks, I have been going through so much pain and issues, family issues, issues that need to be taken care of. Amen. Financial issues, all the issues. And guess what? I ain't going to make that, um, those things stop me from, from praising God and worshiping God and lifting him up. Because it doesn't matter what we are going through. He is still God. He never change. He never change. And he always bring a word in the time of need. He always bring comfort when you need it. He always give direction when you need it. So what, what, are we, what, what else are we seeking? We need directions when we need it. We need what we need for now. Amen. Tomorrow will surely tell for itself. He is a provider. Remember, I always say that God is the, 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 the ultimate provider because he created this world. He created the universe. And guess what? He created everything in it before he made man. And that is enough to show us that he is the ultimate provider. Amen. He creates everything that, that's in the world that he knows that man is going to need. And he, he, he make them. He make them before he make us. Amen. So he is the ultimate provider. What else do we need? Whatever you need, whatever you need, he is a provider. He is a comforter. He is a deliverer. Amen. The Bible says in Psalm 40, well, um, 46, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. God is a good God. And it doesn't matter. Don't matter. Don't matter what you're struggling with. Don't matter what you're struggling with. Don't matter what come up against you. We all have it. And I just want to, I can't stress enough. I just want to encourage somebody today. I'm encouraging you today to hold fast to your life. Because the devil comes to kill, 
to steal and to destroy. But you have a God this morning who come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen? And I just want to share that with you this morning. Praise God. If you are on here and you have um, a child that needs prayer, if you have any um, young people in your, in your family, in your neighbor, your friends that, that, that is struggling and needs prayer, you could um, put their name on the screen so that, so that I can pray for them. Amen? Praise God. Praise God. Father, this morning, I come again thanking you and praising you, God, for your mighty acts. I just praise you for who you are. You are a high and lifted up God. And your train filled this earth this morning. Your train filled this temple. Oh, God, this morning I, I come to you, Lord God, because you said we must come when we are weak and when we are heavy laden and you will give rest. Father, this morning your people need rest. Oh God, Father, I come again. I come this morning, Lord God, asking you, dear God, to lift up the children all over this world, all over this world, dear God. The children that are struggling and suffering, dear God, in, in pain and discomfort this morning. Father, go those that are in the hospitals, sick, oh God, in pain, struggling, Lord God, and questioning, why am I going through all this? This is one of the most common questions, oh God, that, 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 that young people ask. People in general ask, why am I going through all this? And, and keep forgetting that we are fighting against an enemy. Father, this morning I pray that you go into homes, oh God, and you, you touch parents, Lord God. The children that are abandoned this morning, Father, I pray, dear God, that you lift them up, O oh God, and you send a deliverer, Lord, forget for them to deliver them, O oh God, from where they are. Some of them are sleeping in bushes and, and, and on, 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 the, on the vehicles, on the parked cars, mm. in alleys and gutters, and, 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 and everywhere they are, Father, you sit high and you look low. The homeless, my God. Those that are in jails and prisons and, 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 and detentions, oh God, of all, all, all sorts. Father, this morning I pray, dear God, that you, you send, send someone to visit them, Lord God, and to speak life into them, God, and help them to understand that even though they may be locked away, their minds can be free, free to seek you, free to worship, free to serve you. Wherever they are, dear God, they can serve you. They can, they, can, they can seek you and they will find you. You are in the prisons. You are in the dungeon. You are in the valleys. God, you are in the wilderness. Every aspect of our lives, dear God, you are there. Amen. Jesus, Father, this morning, help someone to understand that right where they are, you are there. Help them to understand, Lord God, that they cannot fix their lives. Good morning. Thank you for joining. They cannot fix their lives themselves. They need your help. They need your strength. They need the Holy Spirit. Father, there is nothing we can do on our own. And so, Lord God, this morning, I come to you on behalf of the young people, the, the next generation, oh God. Those, oh God, that are going to be taking the baton from us, oh God. Father, this morning, Lord God, I pray you speak to their minds. Oh God, speak to their minds, God, in the name of Jesus and, and bring them out. Help them to understand that they have purpose. Lord God, lead them in a path, oh God, that they will, they will understand that, that you are the light of the world. And all that we seek will, be, will, will pass away. Father, this morning, dear God, every, every, everyone these days are seeking, are seeking for, for, for just something to satisfy themselves and their flesh. But this morning, Lord God, only what we do for you will last. Only what we do for you, Christ, will last. And so, Lord Jesus, I pray, God, that you bring out your young people, bring out your teenagers, bring them out, God. Oh, God, bring them out, Lord God. Work on their behalf, Jesus. Those that are innocent, innocent this morning, innocently abused, 
taking, uh, taking advantage of God. But I pray, oh God, that you rescue that one, that soul. Rescue, that, the, rescue them from, from the perishing Lord and deliver them, dear God, for your purpose. Let them understand, dear God, that their pain, oh God, will only last for a night. But their joy will come in the morning. Their joy will come. They will find peace, oh God, in the midst of their storm and their trials. Father, help them to understand that they have potential, they have purpose. Father, lead them in a path, lead them in a way, dear God, that they may be able to see and to understand that you have, you have created them with purpose. Grant your mercy this morning, Lord. Grant your peace, God. Father, we ask, oh God, for your grace and your mercy. We just thank you that they are new every morning. Every morning is a new day for someone. Every morning is a new beginning for someone. Every morning there's a new starting over. It doesn't matter how much we fall, but every morning, God, you make it available that we can start over. We can pick up the pieces. Father, help them, dear God, to understand that. Lead them, O oh God, in a plain path. Mm. And Lord God, as they, as they go to schools and colleges, and as they are being bombarded, O oh God, with all, all, all kind of negativity, Lord God, I pray you give, give, them, give them a mind, O oh God. Give them, give them a strong mind, O oh God. Help them, Lord God, to seek you and to serve you and to, to save their souls, O oh God, from condemnation. Lord God, those that who want to bully the, all the bullies this morning, Father, we come against that spirit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we come against every bully this morning. Mm. Let your peace reign. Let your love reign, oh God. Help them not to lift up themselves, oh God. Bring, bring down others in order to lift up themselves, to show themselves great and to show themselves big. Father, we are nothing. Without you, we are nothing. With you, dear God, all things are possible. Only with your spirit, dear God, we can exercise love. Only with your spirit, by your spirit, Lord God, we can exercise compassion on each other. Father, this morning, have your way. Have your way. Father, we ask for, for journeying mercies this morning as we travel. Take Full control of your young people this morning. Your teenagers, take control, Lord. Have your way this morning, God. Father, I pray, dear God, for the grandparents, oh God, who are struggling with their grandchildren. Give them the strength and the courage, dear God, to bear, to cope, to understand, to deal with. Father, we know they, are al they have already reared they, their children. And so, Lord God, I just, I, just, I just thank you, Lord God, for the grandparents who stand in the gap. Strengthen them this morning, Lord. Mm. Cover them under your blood, Jesus. Cover them under your wings. Be their constant provider, Lord God. That as they provide their God, they will be able to teach and, and to lead their grandchildren. In a way that is pleasing to you. Bless Lord God we pray this morning. Father I lift up all the pastors and the ministers and the deacons. Oh God who serve you. Who work for you dear God on the battlefield. And as they go out dear God. I pray in the name of Jesus that they speak your word. Oh God without compromise this morning. So that lives can be changed. Oh God lives can be changed. Oh souls being born for your kingdom. And that you get the glory the honor and the praise. In Jesus' name, I tell you thanks. And I ask, dear God, that whatever I fail of asking this morning, God, you fail not to grant it unto us. But God, God continue to give us that peace, that perfect peace that passes understanding, that will keep our hearts and our mind in Christ Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Bless and sanctify in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Thank you for coming on and being on here with me as I pray for the children. Praise God. If you want to pray for the children, you can um, 
you can join this group praying for the children movement. Amen. Because our children really do need our prayers. Praise God. Praise God. You have a great day. Have a great day, my friends, until we talk again. Bye-bye. Praise God. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.